Uh, today I'm with Brian Alloway, and you were the mayor in Ashford for how long? Mm, eight years. In fact, first mayor I ever realized or know of that went back in on second term, you didn't even have any opposition your second term, did you? No, there was no, I was not opposed to second term. All right, what I want to talk to you about is Ray McNeil. The current mayor, Rusty Burgess, um, has suspended Ray for four weeks on for him making rescue runs. You were the mayor that hired Ray McNeil and set up Ray as far as being able to make rescue runs. Would you tell me how that came about? Well, there was a petition came in early in my first term. I, in my first six months in office, I believe it was within my first three or four months, but a petition came in signed by between two and 300 citizens of Ashford, and it was put before the council. They were having problems with the ambulance responding to medical emergencies there in Ashford with our senior citizens and for wrecks and stuff like that. And it was because the people that were uh, EMTs and stuff that could make the runs were in Farley or in Dothan and places like that, and it would take them 20 minutes to get out here to it, or 30 minutes in my case. So it was really causing a lot of problems. And that was we could sit there with nobody to do, couldn't do anything for 30 minutes until one of them arrived on scene, and then got the ambulance and brought it over to it. So we had a lot of problems with that. But the citizens signed a petition requesting the city provide some kind of assistance for that. And the council discussed it, and we decided we would try to hire a driver or an EMT that we could release from work out there to go to an amateur or to go to an amateur run or whatever. And Ray McNeil applied for the job, and a very fine man, and so we hired him. Now, the when council you say hired him. when you say the council hired as far as a driver, actually, y'all had a need within the city other than rescue. Also, oh yes, did. we did. So did Ray fit both of those? Yeah, he filled all the right bills. He took care of any any incidents or accidents and stuff we had with our own our own uh, employees and stuff. Yeah. But actually, in the water department, also is that yeah. where he? Well, he worked in the water and street department. Work. Ray was so talented, he could do all every job out there. So he provided a tremendous service to the city. He was way underpaid for what he did and what he could do. So he brought a tremendous asset to the city. So when Ray McNeil was hired, the council hired him specifically to work for the city of Ashford in, in other areas, but to be available to make medical yeah. runs? He was hired to work for the city and be made available to run any emergency runs with a rescue squad. The eight years you were there, did y'all require him to go clock out to make a rescue run? Well, when he first started, we did. We didn't know how it was going to work out. But I quickly changed that and then went before the council and informed them why we did it. And we just, in other words, his salary was still his salary, but he went to a salary rather than clocking in and out. And uh, that worked out tremendously well. Ray put in a tremendous amount of overtime. He put in way more overtime than he was gone. And, of course, he didn't get a penny for it. But any other employees we did did receive money. And that was when we were having a lot of problems with water, water problems throughout the city as far as water mains and and feeder lines and stuff, they were all ancient. You know, a lot of our lines had been patched. They sewn a patch on it and they walked away from it. And the one that was down between the uh, Broadway Cafe and the bank had been patched 17 times when it broke the last time. So I made them take it all up, put copper down, you know, the whole place. No more patches. So I was my policy was no more patching. We would repair the line properly because it cost us so much to keep going back and digging in another hole, you know, and then we had to finally have the street paved and we dig it up again and patch another one. So now we, we tried to make the repairs complete from cut off to cut off. So Ray McNeil was hired and this was not to benefit Ray, it was to benefit the citizens of Ashford that had medical emergencies? Well, he was hired to be available to benefit the citizens of Ashford, but he benefited the city of Ashford more than he did you know, that, because he, he worked there far more than he did make any runs. I think the Ashford Rescue made 50 to, you know, anywhere from 45 to 60 runs a month. And Ray didn't make all those. Now, whenever we'd leave, whenever we shut down work, we weren't having any overtime going on, he was free to make those runs if he wanted to. That was his time. Uh, but you know, he made, uh, I, I'd say he probably made 19 or 20 runs a month, anywhere from 45 minutes uh, to uh, two and a half hours depending on what it was. But yeah, he, he made runs during the city, and that's what he was hired to do. He was to be made available to do that. But he worked for the city, he did not work for the rescue squad. Ronnie Whitehead and John McCoy are council members now. 
Were they on the council members when Ray was hired and had this understanding then? Yeah. The council hired him unanimously. That included my vote, too. And both of those people were on there and voted for him to be hired to do the work we were doing. So they knew what the original employment agreement was with Ray? They should remember. They sure should. And it's a, member, it's a matter of fact as far as the council minutes is concerned. That's all in the discussions and everything. You're retired from mayor and just regular citizen in Ashford now. Mm -hmm. How does it make you feel to know that a you, your council, your leadership solved a medical emergency issue for Ashford and the east side of the county, and now Rusty Burgess and the council, do you feel like they're jeopardizing the safety of the people? Well, I don't feel like I know they are. Ash, uh, Ashford needs to provide that service. We are too far out here for care to make a, an ambulance call out here in any, in any. Well, we make ours in seven minutes to, to ten minutes. We would, as far as the rescue squad, uh, they can't get out here in half that time. I mean, it takes them twice that amount of time just to get out here. So, yeah, they provided tremendous service. I mean, there's been some wrecks and stuff around here recently that, that I don't, I don't think that after this is what I've heard. I don't think Ashford's been able to respond to adequately. Either they didn't have a driver, they didn't have an EMT or whatever. So there's nothing much they can do when they get on scene. They can't, you know, they can't transport a passenger or injury anywhere. So yeah, I hate that they've done this because uh, if they've done it, you know, if they have, if they have removed Ray from being an EMT, uh, you know, responder here from the city of Ashford, from within the, the employees of the city of Ashford, then they've done the city a disjustice, tremendous disjustice. Now Ray furthered his education and training to. That's From correct. EMT up to uh, medic stuff like, did the city of Ashford pay for that or did Ray? Not a penny. Ray paid for all of it. And did it on his own time to go to school? Did it on his own time. As, as we might, I might have given him a day or two here. They took it as sick time. Uh, he took it on his own vacation time and stuff. Ray, you know, city did not pay for any of that. One more question. At times, the Alabama League of Municipalities, will, you'll ask them a question, and I'm sure during your eight years as mayor, you ask them questions, and they would say, well, this isn't proper or that isn't proper. But was there always a, usually a way to work it out to make something happen? And I guess I'm saying if, if, the, if Burgess says that, well, the league says we can't do it, can't you always back up a little bit and figure out the right way well, to do it? my experience with the league... Whoever asks the question is the problem if they get the wrong answer. There is nothing wrong with Ray being allowed to. This is a, this is a, he's an employee within the city of Ashford, and we provide services. We're paid to provide services to our citizens of Ashford and our community here. No more, you know, no more so than, than what Alabama Power is or Dothan City employees or any other employee in this thing. If, if the employer is willing to allow that, that employee to leave, for a humanitarian emergency run, then that's within that's between you know the city and 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 the, the citizens as far as I'm concerned, and the city the city asked for that service to be provided, we provided it, and he's not paid by the city to make runs. He just allowed to leave his job. Thank you, Mayor. Mm -hmm.